Hi everybody, this is Lauren Welch. Today I want to show you uh, the new project Krypton off Autodesk Labs working inside of Inventor LT to help me with my plastic part design. So here I'm just going to do a, a basic plastic cap uh, utilizing Inventor LT's drawing and sketching environment with uh, my parametric inputs during my sketching. But one of the things I really want to focus on is how can Project Krypton really help me with my plastic part design? How can it help me with the real-time feedback to make me uh, and help me design better parts? So once we're in our sketch environment here in Inventor LT, uh, you'll see me just quickly lay out some uh, sketch geometry and input directly the dimensions I want. Now I'm actually just staring at this plastic part on my desk, so I'm going to be guessing at some of these numbers here. But I would just want to see um, what I can do uh, kind of quick and dirty with this type of part design. So once I get the uh, the basic outline of my geometry, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just put in a center line and revolve this to get the initial solid. Now, one of the things you'll take note of, uh, obviously, is the direct manipulation input inside of Inventor LT 2011, but also take a look on the bottom right. Now here inside of uh, Inventor LT, Krypton, using mold flow technology, is giving me feedback instantly on manufacturability, cost, and environmental impact of my design. So let's see if we can improve that or see how that changes throughout the course of my design. I'm going to speed things up here just because you probably don't want to watch me sketch um, as I go through this. So what I want to do here is start adding additional feature, really um, finish out the design of this particular plastic part, and let Project Krypton give me this real-time feedback in my design. So I'm just going to leverage some existing uh, model geometry um, inside my part and then go through the sketching process. Now one of the things you'll notice as I go through is I'm just going to take advantage of uh, the basic sketch tools inside of Inventor LT and utilizing the direct mani manipulation capability start adding features. You'll notice every time I add a new feature down in the bottom right hand corner of the screen Krypton is constantly giving me feedback on my design. You now whether I'm improving the manufacturability, the cost, and the environmental impact of these things. Now you see I have some warnings um, on the manufacturability and the cost standpoint. So I'm going to continue my design and see if I can get rid of some of those uh, throughout the course of my design. So let me just kind of wrap up some of the basic shape of my model here. I'm using some spline geometry and utilizing that to uh, cut away some additional features. And once I get this laid out inside of Inventor LT, there's a few things I really want to do. Well, first, I want to you know, obviously define the basic shape. You'll notice that my cost and manufacturability, environmental impact are all adjusting, and giving me real-time feedback. Now I'm going to start doing some things, um, again, finishing out the model, rounding it out, really uh, dialing in the size that I want, and then finalizing it with um, things like fillets, really soften up the edges, really make it a true plastic part. So again, the direct manipulation inside of Inventor LT really facilitates this very quickly and easily for me. The next thing you'll notice is I can start defining um, things like I want to shell this part out. So from a cost standpoint, once I hollow it out, that should help me from a cost standpoint, and voila, it did. So the next thing I want to do is really start defining what kind of part this is. Now from a visualization standpoint here inside of Inventor LT 2011, I can obviously assign colors, materials, make it look um, very pretty and very nice. And that's something you're going to want to do in your design. You want to have a realistic model on your screen as you're designing. So here I'll just go ahead and give it like, um, in this case, like a, a black uh, textured uh, color and I'll also go through here and I'll apply some shadows. Now I also want to make this um, kind of a very specific design so I want to do some nice uh, embossed text on the outside of this bottle and you'll see this on a lot of you know, these uh, these new bottle caps uh, that go on your like your, uh, your water bottles and what have you. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Project uh, or Autodesk Krypton on there and emboss that so um, we can see what that looks like and how that affects my part design. Now you'll notice in the bottom right, uh, Krypton's not really giving me any feedback. And the reason for that is I actually define this as a material that isn't a plastic part, a plastic material. So let's go back and adjust some of the settings inside of the Krypton tool and see what we have. So with a simple right click, I can specify a material. So in this case, I'll do a, a nice PET plastic, which is specific for um, for things like bottles, so it seems pretty appropriate to use that. Once I select this plastic, you'll notice again, Krypton's giving me feedback. And as I select different materials, I could get a variety of feedback. But what specifically is that telling me? Let's go ahead and take a look. So again, utilizing uh, the tool down in the bottom right-hand corner inside of Inventor LT or Inventor 
or uh, even SolidWorks is what uh, Krypton will work inside of. So I can go down here uh, with a simple right click I can pull up my different manufacturability. I can see things like undercuts and draft angle problems, highlight those on the model and address them as part of my design. Let's take a look at some cost factors. So mold cost, material cost, and even production cost. And if there's any warnings, I can see those there. So I have some nice feedback directly on my part. And then the last is my environmental impact. And what this is really taking a look at is the carbon, energy, recyclability, uh, water um, type of constraints. So I can see how my design is going to affect not just um, aesthetically, but how it's going to affect the manufacturing process, the environmental area. So there is Inventor LT utilizing Project Krypton.